brought to you by Bitrix. Today, we are going to be having fun learning the African abacus numeri game called Kumi. Kumi. Kumi means 10 in Swahili, and the reason this game is called Kumi is because it is a, a math game that is centered around the number 10. If you would like to follow along, please feel free to go to Amazon.com and get the Kumi African Abacus Numeracy Game Book. It is full color and it's full of fun. Uh, also look for the African Abacus or African math stickers. These are stickers that you can use in the book as you play through the activities. They're not necessary, but they, it makes it really fun. Yeah, it makes it a much more funny one. Even more. Yeah. So, all stories begin with the origin story. Mm. So, first, we are going to start the story with a boy. Mm, yes, there's this young boy, and this young boy was a refugee and a refugee is someone who is running away from their home or their village and he came from a very impressive beautiful village where there was beautiful architecture there were beautiful garden he just came from a wonderful community and that community thrived for thousands of years thrived for thousands of years in the northern region of africa Kemet. Yes, it was called Kemet. And Kemet meant Black Nation. And that's where he was from. But unfortunately, outsiders were so impressed with their civilization that over time they decided to want it for themselves. So then they came and they invaded the nation of Kemet. Yeah, they conquered. And when they conquered all of the... Um, Indigenous people and the original citizens of Kemet had to flee for their lives, and a lot of them ran. And this is one of the boys who ran. And he ran, he remembered when he ran. He said, wait a minute. My father said, if anything ever happens to me, or after everything, anything ever happens to him, I need to run and I need to find a wise man named Dehudi. Dehudi is a very wise man. Yes. So, so he, he ran and he found the wise man named Dahuti. And then he asked him, he said, Dahuti, please help. My village has been invaded by outsiders and me and the others are scared and we're running for our lives. We've been separated and our parents have been taken away. And then Dahuti said, Dahuti said, wait a minute, who are these others? He said, you are alone and it is odd to be alone. And then a little boy said, we fled our village. All the other children and I are scattered. And I came here looking for you, for help. What do ever shall I do? Then Dehudi said, He said, what you must do is, if there are others out there who are in need of safety and as well, what you need to do is you need to go find the others. Remember that it is odd to be alone. And then the little boy said, well, you're alone. And Dahuti responded, Yes, I am alone, but always remember that to be alone is odd. And what I need you to do is go find other people in your situation who you need your help, and I need you to bring them here together. You must always come to me with a friend. And then before the boy left, he said, Dahuti, but they might take me. They might capture me. How can I be brave? Then Dehudi said, It is very important that you be brave and that you think not only of yourself, but you think of those who are in your situation. Because the only way you can be successful is if you help others. You are coming to me asking for my help. And then for you to receive my help, you must be committed to help others. The, the hoodie, after listening to the young man, said, you have come to me alone, and it is odd to be alone. If there are others that are in need of help, then you must make sure that you help them on their journey. I need you to go and find nine others, including yourself, 
and I need you to return to me in five pairs where you all have friends. I want you to come in five groups of two and you need to return to me after you have gathered others who need that, that are in danger and need your help. If you want me to help you, then you must help others. And then the boy said, but why is man Dehudi? How will I be so brave? I'm scared. They might take me like my parents. How can you expect me to go back? Ah, fear is an illusion. It is better that you go and live your life courageously. Find the others and bring them back to me. You must be a hero and you must serve your community. You have come to me for help and your first test in receiving my help is proving that you will be willing to help others. And before the boy left, Dehudi, with some of his magical power, gave him the power of learning. So now him and everyone he meets can learn all kinds of new things. And with that, the boy was on his way. Yes, he went on his way. And the next day... Whoa, he found some friends. Returned with nine friends, and it was a total of ten. And Tehuti said, I am well pleased with you all. This is great that you have now come together as 10. The thing that's very important about the, what we're about to do is that you understand that there's only one way that we can win, and that is together. There will be a lot of work that needs to take place, but what we're gonna do is work together to build you all a house. And by building that house, that will be the beginning of you rebuilding your wonderful kingdom. Because the same way that a tree lives inside of a seed is the same way that a nation lives inside of you. Let's build. Montage music, cue.